feel like a different woman. <laughs> and if you are new welcome welcome to the doll family please stay and hang out i definitely want to get my fall hair game on dolls and find perfect hair extensions to do just that i am going goo goo gaga over these really awesome hair extensions this is the 16 inch cape and hair extensions and this is jet black to red ombre and i'll also put the information in the description box below don't forget to use code gyaru10 Wee. First things first is I just grab whatever clips that I have and you definitely want to use one of these types of combs. I got this at AliExpress for like a couple of dollars but I'm sure you'll be able to find one on Amazon but basically uh, it's a very fine comb and it also has like a little pick. Step one, we're going to portion out the hair into sections. I am starting the first layer of hair extensions in the back of my head closest to my neck. And the reason why I'm starting lower on my head is not for length, but because I really want the red highlights to pierce through. So I do plan to trim my hair extensions thereafter. If you do want length, that would be a good place to start. But if you are just looking to fill your hair, then starting right above the top of the ear would be the place to actually start. I am clipping any stray hairs with a clip because I do not want to get any hairs into my tape ends. I turned my heating iron on because I will be using it to adhere the tape and hair extensions. So I am placing the first set of tape and hair extensions and the way I do it is I pull a thin strand of my hair and sandwich it in between the two tape ends. One tape end being on the bottom of my hair and the other tape end on the top. I have a fairly small head so I'm only going to be needing two tape ins and I am layering them in a brick style and I'm going to continue to do that all the way up to the top of my ear. Feel free to cut the tape in hair extensions so that they may sit even more perfectly and evenly throughout your hair. You can use your discretion. I'm going to keep the tape ins as they are. And as you can see, I'm really building up on the red and emphasis on the back because I do want the red highlights to just pop through my black hair. And it's gonna give me more of like a fighter fish kind of fanned look. And if you prefer to have more red color come through, then you would probably need a few more red hair extension packs so that the color is evenly dispersed among your hair. Then I will add Instead of two tape in hair extensions, I will probably do three to four. And I'm continuing to work up my hair. Again, just filling the spots and always making sure and checking in between that the placement are even. Does not have to be perfect. Now I am doing a back check. So this is exactly how I imagine where the red color is more so popping through in the back tail end of my hair. Now I'm going to work on the next placement of hair extensions. So I am going to part my hair into two more sections, starting by parting my hair in the middle and then portioning it out one on each side. Once the two parts have been made, then the next thing that is very important to do is to frame your face with your natural hair. That way the tape and hair extensions will not poke through. So if you have thin hair, even balding hair like myself, or just more fine hair, 
then the further out you would want to start your first placement of tape and hair extensions. So I like to start from the beginning of where my ear starts. I do place them with a slight angle upwards. And for this portion, when applying my tape and hair extensions, I place the tape and hair extension on top of my first layer of hair. Then I pull the extension up, make sure all the strays are out. Then I sandwich it in with the other tape and hair extension. If you find this technique to be easier, instead of placing the tape extension underneath and then placing the second on top of it, that's really your discretion. I like to do use both, but neither is wrong. Again, you want to use your discretion. I can fit about two comfortably without it going to the middle of my head. So I will continue to do them again as much as possible that I can fit on the sides of my head. And here is the final check as to how the hair looks and how it falls. So as you can see, again, the red is shining through exactly how I imagined it. Perfect, perfect. I couldn't have been more pleased with the result. I am just trimming the hair, making sure that I don't cut off my own hair, but just the hair extensions. If you have no intention to cut hair or your hair extensions, then all you need to do is just start the hair extension further up on your head when placing them, or you can get shorter hair extensions, or if you want to have more red show through, then you can also purchase multiple packs of hair extensions to each their own. Now we are going to go ahead and style it. I like to style my hair with beachy curls and smaller soft curls to make it a little bit more edgy. I also placed a curler tip for my bangs to give it more volume. interested in the specific color or length or even style number I will definitely leave the information in the description box below so much hair I feel oh my gosh so confident I wish I could have this I wish this was my natural hair but technically it is because it's hundred percent real Remy hair it's styled nicely it's so natural 
yeah so this is how i install my tape and hair extensions so thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you in my next video Bye, <laughs>